Hello, everybody. It is, wait, welcome to Broadway.com's Live at Five. It is Friday the 13th. Kind of spooky. Okay, a little spooky, bit. Kind of spooky, but it's right. okay. I'm Caitlin Moynihan. And I'm Andy Lefkowitz. And over there, we got Miss Lindsay Sullivan. Hello, everybody. Making a rare appearance. Yes. Come on. Yes. Andy, Guys, who do I get to talk to today? We have Taylor Trench here Woo! from To Kill a Mockingbird. Woo! A round of applause, if you will. Yes. But before I kick you out and talk to him, we're okay. going to do today's top five. It really is the most wonderful time of the year. Yes, yes, guys. So we announced late last night the nominees for the 2019 Broadway.com Star of the Year. <laughs> it's an incredible group of folks, and here's who they are. Alex Brightman. Yes. Reeve Carney. Yes. Santino Fontana. Yes. Eva Noblezada. Yes. Karen Olivo. Yes. Oh. I have to say now all the time. Jeremy Pope. <laughs> yes. Ali Stroker. Yes. Come on. Aaron Tveit. Yes. Adrian yes. Warren. Yes. Absolutely. And Andrew Barth Feldman, who... We just found out today was accepted into Harvard University, where he'll be going next fall. So I mean, he's, that kid is living it. He's literally like yes. seventeen. Yes, he's seventeen, and he succeeded Taylor in <gasps> Dear Evan Hansen. Wow, we love Come a full on. circle moment. Yes, guys. Yeah. So congratulations, voting. Yes, uh, you have until Sunday, December fifteenth, this Sunday, mm -hmm. to vote for the Broadway.com Star of the Year. So get onto our site and do it. Yes. And another music trailblazer's legacy is getting the stage treatment. Hey, Andy. Yes. Did you know people like to make musicals with famous people's songs That's in them? That's what I heard. Yeah. Okay. So we've got another one in the works. There's going to be a new musical based on the life and music of the 1950s rocker Richie Valens. It's in yes, development. Totally. So I'm I'm here for it. I'm here for it. This was announced by uh, Brad Garfield, who's going to be one of the main producers on it. So that, usually when producers announce it, it means that they're feeling like ready. It's ready yes. to go. I'm so. I might pronounce his name wrong, please. Yeah. So Tony Tacone. Tacone, yeah. Oh, okay, I didn't know if it was going to like Tacone. Tacone. Um, he's a Broadway vet. He was just in, um, he was an artistic director at Berkeley Rep. Um, he's going to direct it. Yes. So we got a good good vibe going on there. It's going to be titled Come On, Let's Go, which is the name of one of the hit one of songs. Albums, one yeah. of his albums. Um, yeah, it's going to feature a book by Richard Montoya, who just did Water and Power and Radio Mambo. Nice. Um, yeah, and it's going to have original score from Louis Perez and David Hidalgo, and it's going to have a number of Valens' hits. Yeah, including La Bamba, yes, Donna. He had such Bamba, a kind of like Donna. a tragic life because he rose to fame in the 50s and he died at age 17 oh, after oh, in wow. a tragic uh, plane crash. So that oh, it's that guy. Yeah, it's that oh. guy. Yeah. So uh, this learning should be a an lot. Interesting. Uh, person to musicalize on stage. Yeah, that's going to be super interesting. We're yeah. going to learn, we don't know anything else really besides it's happening and who's directing it. Yes. So we're going to learn about a timeline, where it's going to go, who's going to be in it, but we'll probably be talking about this one for quite a while. For a while. And now we're going to pivot to some sad news. This Oscar nominee will be deeply missed. Yep, so we yeah. found out today that Danny Aiello passed away last night mm -hmm. um, at a medical facility uh, where he was receiving care. Yeah. <clears throat> Pardon me. Yeah. Receiving care for a sudden illness. Yeah. <laughs> As I'm feeling ill. Oh, man. Um, Danny Aiello was Oscar nominated for Do the Right Thing mm -hmm. and also appeared on screen in Moonstruck, Jacob's yeah. Ladder, mm -hmm. and Hudson Hawk. Mm -hmm. um, he appeared on Broadway eight times. Uh, he got a Theater World Award for his Broadway debut in Lampost Reunion, and he was seen in Hurley Burley, mm -hmm. the Floating Light Bulb, The House of Blue Leaves, and he made his final Broadway turn two years ago in the holiday show Home for the Holidays, Home for the holidays. where he was exercising his comedic charm. Oh, so uh, Denny Aiello will be very much missed. Yeah, but I'm glad we can always think about all the awesome work he did. Yes. And some talented gents are joining this West End revival. Andy, when you said this news during the morning meeting, everyone was like, <laughs> okay, and I was like, y'all don't understand. It's Theo true. James of divergent fame, if you will. Yes. <laughs> also, Jonathan Slinger of what of fame? I did not know him before. Oh, he was it's like a theater veteran. Oh, of the he West was been in like Royal Shakespeare Company. He's like a theater man. Yes, yeah, really. but they're both joining the cast of West End City of Angels, and this cast just keeps getting more star-studded. Yeah, but it's a great so cast. like so, let me let me give you the deets, okay? So Theo James, he's gonna be playing Stone, and like I said, he played Four in the Divergent trilogy that we still haven't finished yet. I'm oh mad about. Yeah. We're still waiting on that final installment. I'm just saying. All right, and Slinger, he's gonna take on the dual role 
roles of Buddy and Irwin. And like cool. we said, he's known for um, working the Shakespearean company. They joined the previously announced Vanessa Williams, Rosalie Craig, Hadley yeah. Frazier, Rebecca Treherne, and Nicola Roberts. This whole thing is going to be moving to the Garrick Theater in the West End on March 5th, 2020. Going to be directed by Josie Rourke. Yeah. And yeah, it's going to be, you know, it's, you know, it's City, City of Angels. Angels. Come it, on, guys. If you guys don't know it, let me tell you real quick. It's, it takes all, uh, it alternates between the story of a mystery writer who hopes to break into the movies and the suave 1940s detective that he created himself. There so you go. it's a fun little, fun little moment. So I guess we're going to go to London. Yeah, let's do it. Cool. Let's go. Yeah. Always down for a London trip. So these unsinkable folks will be joining Ms. Beth Malone yes. off Broadway. I was so excited to read this today because I'm Love super it. pumped about this production. Uh, so off Broadway's Transport Group is staging Unsinkable Molly, Molly Brown for yes. I think the first major New York production since the original. Uh, Beth Malone, as we know, who played this role uh, at the Muni a few years mm -hmm. ago, is going to be reprising her title turn, and we found out additional casting. So David Aaron Demain, Whitney Basher, Bridges of Madison County, uh, Omar Lopez Car Caparo, yeah. Alex Gibson, and Paolo, mm -hmm. Paolo Montalban, apologies, yeah. uh, are all going to join Beth Malone on stage. Uh, this production is going to play the Abrams Art Center off-Broadway from February 7th to March 22nd, 2020. So be sure to check this out. It's a beautiful score. Um, I'm super pumped about it. Yes. And also on this site, something that just went up, honestly, like one of my favorite things that I've gotten to work on in a, a, ever, really, yeah. truly. So we do Got to Dance features um, every other week, and we highlight an ensemble member, especially a dancer, who's been working their butt off on the Broadway. And this week's, we highlighted Mars Rucker, and they are currently in Tina, the Tina Turner yes. musical. And they have such an incredible story, truly beautiful photos by Matt Murphy. They were paralyzed as a kid, and now they're dancing on Broadway, making some Broadway history, y'all. So make sure you go an check that out. incredible show. Yeah, and an incredible, like, it's Tina, you hello. you seen Tina, guys, you go have to Tina. check it out. Oh, yes. Um, Harry Connor. Jr.'s an ode to Cole Porter that opened on the Broadway yesterday. Yes. We got some hot photos of that. Hades Town, they had a signing after a show last night, I think. So that was fun. That is accurate. <laughs> that is <laughs> I, I just true. know that we have photos of them signing <laughs> CDs on stage, but it's fine because you get to see them after the show. Yeah. And then rehearsal clips of Twas the Night Before, Cirque du Soleil. I didn't know it was Cirque du Soleil. It is Cirque du Soleil. They have a new show in town, guys, at MSG. Go see they are it. twirling through the air on silk ropes, and it's amazing. You know what's really amazing? We have Taylor Prince here. <laughs> it's true. It's yes. true. So, Andy, I yes. love our moments. I hope you have I a love great weekend. <laughs> Enjoy <laughs> it. Too, but um, I want to talk to Taylor Trench now, so um, goodbye. goodbye. <laughs> Lindsay, could Lindsay. you please tell us a little bit more about our guest today? I would be honored. Y'all, the delightful and talented Taylor Trench is with us in the studio today. He is currently playing Dill Harris in the smash hit play. You might have heard of it, To Kill a Mockingbird on Broadway. And this is hardly his first rodeo. He has also tread the board in Dear Evan Hansen, Hello Dolly, The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime, Matilda, and Wicked. He has appeared off-Broadway in Bear and Rent and, and on the national tour of Spring Awakening. Make sure you follow him on Instagram at Knuckle Sandwich, because of course. And yes, please welcome Taylor and Caitlin. <gasps> oh, Taylor! Hey. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Hi. Taylor Trench. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Okay. I'm swell. We got a lot to talk about, I'm sir. so happy to be here. I watch Live at Five all the time. And I thought maybe perhaps because I did an episode of Show People. Mm -hmm. Yes, you did. And I thought maybe I would be like disqualified or ineligible to be on Live at Five. So when the, when the invitation came, well, we, I jumped. Oh, well, we're so thrilled yeah. to have you. You can come back anytime you want. Woo! If you ever want to okay. co-host, come on. Oh my god, I'm ready. Maybe yeah. we should do that. I'm done. Okay, well, let's talk about you. Because okay. you've been kind of busy, if I do say. You are currently in, you like are in To Kill a Mocking, like you're in it now. Yeah, it's it. been, like how long, how, how long has it been? Give me the deets, how's it going over we there? We started in November. I want to say it's been like, oh, oh gosh, four weeks, six weeks? Somewhere around there. Like a month. Yeah. A month We've zone. been doing it. Yeah. Okay. And is yeah. it, how's it going? What's it it's like? It's so magnificent. It's such a special play. Mm -hmm. And it's this title that like is ingrained in every American's DNA, I think. <laughs> and so people are excited to see it. And the cast is so good. Aaron, or Ed Harris. Turns out he's a really good actor. He's very good. <laughs> Who knew? Yeah, check him out. <laughs> Who knew? So you have... You've done shows where you've gone in before, like either you've replaced or you took over a role from somebody. So you you know that deal. You know what yes, that's like. Yeah. What? How was that different than what you just did where you kind of went into, 
you were new to the show, you weren't originating, but you kind of went in with all new people. What was that experience right. like? Yeah, it was so nice. My last experience replacing was Dear Evan Hansen, mm -hmm. where I was like the only new person, and otherwise it was this like unit that had been together for yeah. so many years. Mm -hmm. And that was terrifying. And this was so beautiful in, in that we got to, it felt like we got to rehearse a new play mm -hmm. together yeah. um, and like forge friendships and bonds. And um, it's like such, it's truly such a, a good, good group of nice people and great actors. Oh, what was that rehearse? Like, can take me through finding out you're going to play Dill, totally. getting into rehearsal, and then taking your first bow oh my as Dill. What, what was that timeline like? Okay, well, years ago I was lucky enough to read the very first draft of the script. Oh um, they invited some actors, they invited three, Celia and Will Pullen mm -hmm. and myself, they were like, we're going to have three adults read these parts of the kids, it's yes. going to be nine-year-olds, like, nice, like, fat chance, but yeah. it's not going to be you, and we were like, oh, man. Yeah. And we came in, and... Um, like in the middle of the reading, they decided that adults like worked. Mm -hmm. um, so good job. Hey, thanks. <laughs> and it was all oh, thanks to me. <laughs> um, and, and I had already agreed to do Dear Evan Hansen when that yeah. happened, and so I couldn't be a part of the next rehearsal yeah. or the next like workshop and mm -hmm. stages of development. And so Gideon came in, the brilliant Tony nominated Gideon Glick, one oh. of my dearest friends who just got back from his honeymoon. Oh yes. Um, so then he came in and gave that <sighs> just like earth shattering performance, mm -hmm. and then. Like maybe like half of the way through mm -hmm. that original gang's year run, yeah. I got invited to mm -hmm. replace him, which was so exciting because oh. I thought I'd maybe like missed my chance to wow. be a part of the play. Um, and then we had like four weeks together as a company with wow. Bart Cher, oh, nice. who's also turns out he's very good at directing <laughs> plays and musicals. Surprise! Yeah, ch check him out. Um, and uh, that's so it's so rare. Usually, when yeah. you're a replacement, you get like two weeks with the stage manager, and they like push you out and they're like don't hit anybody Good luck. yeah so it was so nice to like build a play and it felt like we got to take ownership over it wow i remember um will poland was here he was on live at five and i remember he said that during that initial reading uh -huh. that like he went up to celia and like was a fan of hers but didn't really Completely. talk to her yet Same, yeah. and was just like so how what accent are you doing like, that, was, like, <laughs> that said, was the icebreaker he said yeah. that that was like the first and so well, take me back to that room what was it like being able to like read like Aaron Sorkin's adaptation of this like be part of the first group to do that cuckoo crazy it was so it was the first draft ever being like listened to yeah. like read aloud yeah. and we read it Celia and I talked afterwards and we were like oh it's a perfect script and then I think he wrote like a like dozens of other drafts since then and I'm like oh it's now it's it's really good now too <laughs> um but it was like it was so amazing to me that someone could come out the first draft was so spectacular mm -hmm. and just how exciting to be reading like Aaron Sorkin with mm -hmm. Celia Keenan Bolger one of my Casual. favorite theater actress mm -hmm. of all time and um and like Jeff Daniels and mm -hmm. Latanya all these like oh, it yeah. was like just a room full of some of my favorite actors like doing this play based on a book that I have loved and yeah. it was so cool. And what has it been like for you? Because it's been a minute since you did a play. It I has, feel like, yeah. you know, Car was Curious Incident your last like Broadway um, play? Your last Broadway Bro play, Last yes, Broadway yeah. play, because you've done stuff, you did stuff off Broadway, you did and some like some like uh, regional, yes. yeah, yeah. This, like this is your first like Broadway play since Curious Incident, Correct, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So how has it been like getting to like dive back into like that world of acting? Ooh, it's the best not to sing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just not good at it, and so many people are so okay. good at it. All right, all um, right. You've, you've stopped okay, it. There's right. like Lindsay Mendez is out there. Like we don't need me uh, to sing. We have Lindsay I think Mendez. We, I, th I think the world would like to keep Taylor Trench singing. That's, just want to put it on record. Thank you. That's nice. <laughs> but um, yes. But it's it's a it's like a dream. I have always loved doing plays, and I think that's always what I aspire to do. Wow. Um, and I just got very lucky, and my first job was a musical, and so then that sort of like put me in that world. Mm -hmm. Spider hands. <laughs> spider hands. And um, make it a thing, spider <laughs> hands, all the kids are doing it. Um, sorry. And uh, But so it's like, it's a dream come true to be yes. on Broadway doing a play and this like incredible, like monumental, mm -hmm. record-breaking play at that. Yes. And of course, in, you know, in this, stage adaptation, you know, you, the three kids are narrating this piece, yeah. you know? So what was it like to be able to work with Nina and Nick and you three be able, like Nina Grohlman and Nick Robinson, you guys uh, like the three amigos. Truly. What was it like to build that relationship and kind of like dive back into being kids together? So fun. I think Nina is like our entry point into being kids. She is the goofiest, funniest person. And, um, she definitely helped. Nick and I are, are a little more introverted and Nina helped like 
turn us into spider fingin kids <laughs> spider fingin it can be a verb too or just put on it's record both. yeah it's, it's exactly it's get on it verb. it's fine it's fine um and but they are two of like now my favorite people on earth it's like such mm. a fun thing to do and it's a hard job to actually very rarely are we doing like scene work we're talking to the audience yeah. and so it's nice to have two people that you can like rely on and play with and um they're just the best yes and speaking of that we talked a little bit about this when we were out there but um russell's new to the cast <laughs> russell harvard yeah. love him i saw oh him when God. he was in king lear and i was like i need you to do everything forever same, amen same, same, thank same. you so what is it like what was it like to be able to bring him into the cast because russell harvard uses sign language to be able to talk but you guys kind of get to interpret that for the audience totally. as well as helping as he's doing sign language so what was that experience like for you i mean what a like privilege and honor he's such a good actor so to like to voice what he's doing is so fun and cool and he's just so remarkable he, um when i when like when i watched the like first gang go up uh, uh, the first cast mm -hmm. i remember being like so sad to not be a part of it and then we started rehearsals with this new company and like when i found out russell was in the company i was like oh like this is all made it so worth it mm. he's so special and like just specific and generous and fearless and all of the, he's just the best yes. and it's so good. And I think it helps clarify even further that character and that storyline that we, earlier in the play are giving voice to him and then later he comes back mm -hmm. to sort of talk to us and teach us mm -hmm. about the cruelties of life. Yeah. yeah. What has it been like for you to be back at this theater? This is what, third, Number three. Three, third time back at the theater. Every time where you're just like, oh, I've been here. Is it, do you feel like, does it feel different? Or are you like, oh, yeah, I know this place. Well, I, I, this is my first time having a private dressing room, which feels <gasps> huge. Spider fingers. Spider fingers for that. <laughs> Give me them spide things. I keep making it shorter and shorter. And by the end, I'm just going to be like, Spire. SF, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, this is my first time having a private dressing room, which Come is on. very fancy. Started out in the basement. Where, Working um, your way up. Where, 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 where I ran across my foot once. <laughs> I love that for you. Thank you so much. And then went to the very top. Okay. Where I roomed with Will Burton during Hello, Dolly. And now I'm like sort of in the middle. Okay. Private room. It's absolutely gorgeous. Love but what it. an incredible historic theater. It's mm -hmm. so cool. How, is, how did you decorate your, your room? Okay. So my apartment is a mess. Okay. Like, um, like... We're verging on animal hoarder territory without the animals, although I did just adopt a puppy, so no, I was we're going to get there. Okay, yeah, we're going to follow up about the puppy. I need to um, talk about that. But so my uh, my dressing room is very, like, Scandinavian minimalist. Oh. Huga, is that Huga, that word? Hi, 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 yeah. Hi, yeah. Marie Lots Kondo. Of, <laughs> Marie Kondo, the Huga, Haiga. Yes. Is that the song from Frozen? Huga. Huga. Oh, is oh, it? I still haven't seen it. What am I doing with my life? <laughs> Taylor honestly? Trench. You've been on. I'm like, you've been be... kind of busy being on Broadway quite a bit. I but guess, but I'll, I need I'll to like... get busy having, having my wig blown off by Casey Levy. Is what yeah, I, need to happen. I mean, yeah, you yeah. should. Oh, Carolina Change. Sorry. Oh my gosh, it. I know how exciting is that. Oh my god, Tamika Lauren. Oh my oh god, Cast of Dreams reunion. Woo! Woo! Yeah. Okay, wait. New so, question. Just also, sorry, yeah. so off topic. I Tell saw me. Ghost on Broadway and sat behind Perez Hilton, who was wearing cargo shorts, and I'll just never forget that experience. Okay, sorry, go on. <laughs> okay, speaking of a ghost reunion, yeah. if you could bring back any show with your powers, what would you want to do? Any show in history? Yeah, like... yeah, whatever you want. Oh, that I get to be in? Yeah, or... I don't care. Oh you make God. the question however what? you want. Oh, God, no. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like just making it. But an hard. actor thing, I was like, a show for me to star in. <laughs> um, wait, no, okay, yeah, a yeah, show yeah. to bring back just for me to enjoy as an yes. audience member? Yes. My first instinct is Dream Girls. <gasps> yes. Um, which, like, is coming back, maybe? Casey Nicola, please oh, no. send like, us updates. We're give begging. Us the, give us the, the dreamies. Please. Give us the spidey fingies. Give us the dream girls. Yes, please. Um, I would love, I, I said this to Paul when yeah. last time I was here, but I would also love to, it was just on Broadway, but I would love to do Cabaret with Kristen mm. Milioti. I think. Where we alternate in the role of Sally. There should, Cabaret should always, I, I think agree. like every, like every two years, I feel like it's fine. Bring it back. Totally. We always need just it. Just build a new theater for it. Amazing. Right? I have one last question before we get to fan questions, because okay. I know there's a lot oh, of them. Oh, yeah. I just really need to know the deal with Carrie Strug. Mm -hmm. Like I know you talked about this with Susan Blackwell on Side by Side. Please go watch it. He does this full routine in the middle of a crowded restaurant. Yeah, no but one it, even like blinks an eye. But what's the? What, how did that love so begin? My aunt worked uh, like w within and around the 1996 Olympics, like specifically oh with gosh. the U.S. women's gymnastics team. That's the dream. So we went to Atlanta to go, where she famously hurt that little Anki. 
And um, it rocked my world. And yeah. she was an American hero, still is. Still and is. Um, I kind of have her haircut right now. <laughs> the carry, the strug. <laughs> The, the dill. Yeah, the dill. The it dill. Kind of, it can go both ways. We love. Um, and she just is the very best. I love women's gymnastics. It makes me Are cry you so every time. for the Olympics? It's so soon. Pumped. I know. It's so soon. I know. Do we know who's do, in it yet? Um, I, it's Besides Casey like Levy. Oh. It's, um, Great. So yeah. the whole Carolina Change cast. Yeah, it's the is, Carolina Change cast. Got yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And an appearance by uh, Spider Ma- Fingers. Exactly. Beth Malone is doing Vault. And I think Celia Keenan Bolger. Celia Keenan Bolger oh, okay. is doing a floor routine. It's going to blow you away. It's going to be great. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah. All right, Lindsay, do we have any fan questions? You best believe we oh have a God. whole like rhythmic gymnastics routine <laughs> worth of Oh my fans. God. Okay, Lindsay, <laughs> tie it in. Okay, Lynn. Okay, perfect so, 10 from Joanne the judges. Joanne has a marvelous question. Thanks. Joanne. Do you have a favorite novel that you would love to see turn into a Broadway play? Oh my god. What a good question. Okay, it would maybe be hard to do because it's it's lengthy. Even better. But The Amazing Adventures of Cavalier and Clay is one of my favorite okay. books by Michael Chabin and um that would like that would be a dream come true. It's being Stephen Daldry who directed The Inheritance. <gasps> yes. I think is like has his his little spidey things in oh, it oh, I love for it. maybe a mini series or a film. But maybe we can. But just... he knows his way around a two part play. Oh, oh, does he ever? I say I'm let's go four parts. Say. Let's go eight. <laughs> you have to spend a whole week seeing the play. Find my me. I love it. I think fans would love We're that. We're innovating. I think so too. Oh my gosh. We'll spend a it week with you, Taylor. Only cost you eight thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. So there's oh, so many fans of all the wonderful work you've done. So Jake wants to know what was the experience like recording the Hello Dolly cast album. He listens to that all the time and loves it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wait, Hello Dolly. Oh my god. There was a train, a <laughs> big old train. <laughs> she gotta go. Yeah, what was like? What was Hello Dolly like for you to be able to be a part of that with all those dollies? Oh my gosh, it was the coolest, best. Are you oh. kidding? I I actually didn't know the musical before being in it. Really? I was a big theater nerd, but somehow escaped Hello Dolly. It's so. And now joyful. you're on that and album. You're on, the I'm cast on that album, album with forever? Bette Midler. What? David had P.P. Pierce. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> that is a not. Cut that. Cut that. Um, <laughs> Um, I love that. It, it's so cool. The album was so cool. It felt like um, I love to watch like uh, that documentary of the of the cast of Company filming their <gasps> cast recording, like it, their actual one, not yes, the co-op, not co-op one. Okay. Although I love that too, <laughs> love but that it one. felt like we were. It felt like we were like in another era. Like the way we recorded it, it was like the full ensemble in a room. Like it just was so. It was like what I imagined Broadway to be like as a kid, and it was so fun. And thanks for listening. Yes. Let's do one more cue. Yes, we love it. So, Billy, this is a great question. Um, did Ben Eichner, and Noah give you advice before playing Evan Hansen? I kind of want to alter, because this is on his wonderful Show People episode. We talked a lot about yes, yes. all the Evan Hansens. Um, you know, you've replaced in so many amazing roles. I would love to know kind of when you're looking into something to step in, what is kind of your process? And like, how do you make it your own? Cause you add that Taylor Trench Good goodness you. that no one else has. The spider fingers. Hey, thanks. Yeah, I <laughs> add those signature spideys. Um, <laughs> Noah and Ben did not give me advice. <laughs> um, no. You're not salty um, about that at all. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. fine. Um, I'm also not hurt by not being nominated for Broadway.com start of the year. <laughs> What if I throw? <laughs> Just kidding. I voted. I voted. It was also really hard for me because I was, was rooting for, for lots of people. But I voted. It's hard for us to choose. We I were bet. only allowed it to is. choose 10. It gets a little heated. It gets heated. Yeah. It gets I'm very sure. heated here. I also don't deserve to be star of the year. No, everyone um, deserves to be star of the year. Sorry. Yeah. Going back. So replacement. It's yes. such a tricky thing. I yeah. think what I've learned from doing it a few times mm-hmm. is to like just try your best to like put it out of your mind because mm-hmm. you're inevitably going to disappoint yeah. somebody like those like fans of shows who love it, who like love it so wholeheartedly from the beginning, of course. I think start to feel ownership over it. And so mm. when you like interrupt the thing they love so dearly, like there are just going to be people you let down. Mm. And so you like have to just be okay with that and make the focus, um, like telling the story truthfully and yes. um, like being a good scene partner to your castmates mm. and um, just trying to be like present and honest every night. Oh, well, well, you and Gideon both play that role very beautifully. Thank yes. you. And you're oh, doing yeah, that so beautifully Thanks. every single Thanks night. For coming to see it. At To Kill a Mockingbird. Yeah, we already got to see it with him, but y'all, even if you've seen To Kill a Mockingbird before, you have to have to go back. It's like a completely new, wonderful, brilliant show. 
Go over, go see it, go see Mr. Taylor yeah. Trench, you guys. Have a wonderful weekend, spider fingers. Um, have a great weekend, everybody. Lindsay, could you take us out? Absolutely. Uh, Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. We are live at 5 every single weekday here on Facebook, and you can listen to us wherever you get your podcasts by searching for hashtag live at 5 and hitting that subscribe button, y'all. Be sure to tune in on Monday when we talk to Mr. Robbie Fairchild all about the Cats movie. Oh! <laughs>